Hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So tonight, I promised you I'd make a quinoa dish and this is just one of them that I make. This isn't the same one we had the other night because I don't want to get bored with what I'm cooking and I don't want my husband to either. So I have a cup and a half of quinoa here in this strainer. And I buy this organic quinoa either um, in the bulk section or I buy it um, also pre-packaged Costco has it I mean there's tons of places you can get this you can get it in the bulk section in grocery stores you can get it at Whole Foods I believe Whole Foods is where this came from actually Sage you need to keep your nose out of there okay and so I'm gonna rinse this and you're gonna notice if it's got that film on there, it's going to kind of get a soapy bubble. See how it kind of foams up? You want to make sure that you really rinse this clean. If you don't, it will alter the taste of your quinoa seed slash green. So I just keep rinsing. I might rinse and soak this a couple of times, but I do want to clarify something. Um, you know, in my quinoa salmon video, I I said it wasn't a grain; <laughs> it was a seed, and they're one and the same. I don't know. I don't, really don't know why I said that, other than I was tired. <laughs> but the grains are a seed, so uh, the quinoa is just a wonderful, healthy, healthy. I mean, it's got iron and uh, amino acids that no other grain I think it's a complete protein if I'm not mistaken it's a complete protein so it's just very similar to couscous if you like that and we love that but we're getting away from the pasta and the, you know the high carb thing that's not um, not that these don't have carbs but it's a healthier carb it slows your digestion down so you can um, actually absorb it and stay full longer so anyway that being said I'm going to take you to the other station I have a chicken breast in the oven for my husband right now and um, I'm not sure what I'm having yet I haven't decided I, I thought I had two chicken breasts in that package but it wasn't so I might just have salad and quinoa all right I'll take you over to the other station I'm going to rinse this one more time in between all right so now I've got my little um, I think this is a two quart pot um, I heat it up, I preheat it. I'm going to put down, this is a wild tree, um, zesty lemon, <sighs> sounds really good with chicken, uh, grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is fabulous. I probably, I got about a tablespoon down there. The smoke point is so high on this that it's way healthy for you. Although I am, mmm, and it's like a burst of lemon. And I've got in my Vidalia chopper container that Paula gave me. Thank you, Paula. Um, I have some sweet Walla Walla onion. I have celery that's diced really tiny and carrots and red bell pepper and uh, garlic. And so uh, once that oil comes up to heat, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I've washed my quinoa until it's no, there's no more foam or bubbles when I rinse it uh, with uh, high uh, water pressure. Um, it doesn't have any bubbles going on. That's what you want. So, okay, so I can tell my oil's hot. I'm going to go ahead and just soften all these vegetables for this at this point. Mm. Yeah, you're just going to let them soften and just kind of become translucent. We don't want to start, you know, browning them or really getting them too soft. And I certainly don't want to burn the car garlic in there, which that won't happen, but it smells already amazing. So for those of you that aren't familiar with grapeseed oil, I highly recommend that you go research it. It's one of the best things you can do for cholesterol. 
It has a really high smoke point, um, so it doesn't become saturated on you, and it's just amazing. So um, I'm, I'm going to try to incorporate that in wherever possible, and I have for the last couple years, but I really want to focus on that um, more so. I'm going to make myself up some chicken stock because we are having this with chicken. And I've got my chicken base. Then I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. And I want, oh, about three cups of that chicken base. Which that gives you that should be pretty good look at that, yeah. So I just want um, three cups of that. I'll whisk that in, and I don't want it too salty because that's not good for you either. Um, but I want the flavor in there for sure. And we are going to add. This is just one of my quinoa recipes. We are going to add um, the chia seeds to this. Uh, we'll add the chia seed gel. I'm not going to add just the seeds because I don't want to skew my uh, liquid ratio for the quinoa. So as I'm sweating these vegetables down, mm, wow, just love this. I'm going to give you a look and I'll run you back when I'm ready to add the quinoa and the chicken stock. Okay, hold on for the ride. And look how pretty that is. Amazing. Okay, so I feel like my vegetables have sweat down plenty. I am going to, though, because I just feel like we should incorporate some kind of greens in every meal other than a green salad. So I've got my dehydrated kale, and I didn't rehydrate it or anything. I'm just going to crumble this up. I'm going to add a little bit of extra moisture to this dish to make sure I compensate for that because it does rehydrate back beautifully. In fact, I need to dehydrate a ton of this. I love it. Okay, so I think I feel like I've got enough green in there. I don't think you can see that. And then I'm gonna add my, oh, my camera's sitting on the spatula. That's awesome. Add my chicken stock. Um, make sure it's stirred up at the bottom because I did do this from a base. And I'm just going to add a splash more to rehydrate the kale and any of the key, uh, chia seeds that did not get enough rehydration when I gelled them. And I hope you can see this. It's This is a gel. So... I'm going to scoop this out for you. Oof. You just look at it and go, huh. It's pretty strange. But, oh, so good for you. So I'm going to put two heaping, maybe three heaping tablespoons in here. It has absolutely no flavor. And once it's been gelled, it really takes on no texture. So... Now I'm going to go ahead and refill that jar, or put some more chia seeds in there. And then I'll, I'll fill that with water and let it hydrate on its own. So now I'm going to get my delicious quinoa over there. Make sure I've got everything stirred in well. I don't want any clumps or bumps. It really smells fabulous right now. So quinoa is... Um, same thing, kind of the same as you do rice, and it actually is a little bit easier. I haven't ever had a starchy quinoa, but um, so now I'm going to add my quinoa in there. I've got a uh, cup and a half of that to three cups of chicken stock. You can use plain water. You could, um, I'm not going to add any salt in here because of the stock, but you could add beef broth. You could do whatever you wanted. Okay, so I'm going to add that all in there. Mm. And we're going to let those seeds bloom. 
that's really what we're doing. I'm going to let them bloom and become absolutely amazing. Quinoa salad, like a tabbouleh. Um, I think Noreen mentioned that. That reminds me, although I like quinoa better, I'm not a big buckwheat fan or um, I probably do more of that. I do have some, but as you can see, this is going to be more than enough for side dishes for a couple of nights, and I can change this up however I want. I could add salsa to this and make it more of a Mexican dish. I can add um, a variety of spices and change it up. So I'm going to get this simmering, and in about 15 minutes it should be ready. And my chicken then should be ready also. So I'll bring you back when I'm a little closer to being done. All right, done. guys, I'm back and I'm ready to serve this up. Finally, I want to make sure that you guys know how amazing this smells. It just smells incredible. This quinoa came out oh, beautiful. All the seeds or grains have bloomed. You can tell that by a little ring around the outside. You know when it's done and that it's bloomed, you know, when you see those little white rings. So I'm just going to have a helping of the quinoa right there. Perfect. And now we've got uh, plenty, and I will show you after the fact, we have plenty of quinoa for later. So now I've got, I've got the salad. I've got some dried cherries, just a basic salad with some romaine, some um, actually a mixture of lettuces. We're just going through them like we're rabbits. So, and this is a balsamic vinaigrette that I need to use up that is in my refrigerator. It's Paul Newman's, and so it's, um, I believe it's, well, I know it's organic. And it is uh, a light salad dressing. I just, I, I need to use that all up. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a taste test. How does that look? Doesn't that look beautiful? I cut the chicken breast a little bit so I could let you see what was going on inside there. I like the bone in and skin on. You can take that skin off, but that bone and everything, it imparts moisture. Generally, these are more or less inexpensive or less expensive than um, when you get them any other way so even boneless skinless um, so I choose to buy them like this if I can although I am gonna buy some boneless skinless so don't judge me I'm gonna take a bite of this with skin on hmm <laughs> oh my gosh wow mmm Okay, that's amazing. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. That's so good. Let me taste this quinoa. I've got all those little finely diced um, vegetables in there that I let simmer and saute and then cook with that. It's going to have such a nutty flavor. Mmm. Mm. Wow. If you like couscous, this is really the ticket. The next quinoa recipe I'm going to make is going to be a, a wild and cremini mushroom saucy quinoa. So I hope you stay tuned for that. I hope this inspires you. Wait, I better have some <laughs> salad. Um, I hope this inspires you to come back and see me. I hope that if you're new and you just happened upon my channel, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get all my videos as they come up. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, go ahead and post it on your Facebook page. This is delicious. It's absolutely fabulous for you. And I hope that it inspires you to eat healthy and yeah, I'm going to show you some pictures here and actually show you pictures of, um, hmm, I got another bite, um, 
of the quinoa cooked quinoa in the pot and the plate so can't wait to see you next time okay guys god bless